Hi everybody. Uh, this is a, a tutorial uh, demo for, uh, it was originally for a class, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do um, do this to show you how to, to do blends uh, in uh, Illustrator CS4. And um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a three-dimensional type um, uh, and using the blend tool. So I'm going to do a demonstration for the blend tool. Okay, and now your first step is to uh, create your uh, text, which I've already, I already done here. And um, so you want to use kind of like a, a, a thick type for this and uh, uh, make it a little bit big. And I, I, I did it here for this purpose to, to uh, show you. Um, and then the second step, well, you select the type, which I already did here. And then you choose, you go to a type and choose create outlines. And what this did, it created the outlines um, for, on your type because you want to create a path. So to get, you know, any type of effects like this, um, you, know, you need to, uh, to create paths. So that's what we did here. That's what Create Outlines does. Um, okay, uh, now I go to, you can either go to the window, click here, um, to, uh, to get the color palette here. And what you do is that you uh, set your fill here, where it says here, and you want to set that to none. Okay, and see that changes your, uh, uh, it takes out the color in your type. Let's set that to none. And then you want to set your stroke color to black. Okay, that we, we've done that. And that was from the color palette. Okay. Uh, now you want to sim simplify the type by strategically uh, deleting um, your your uh, path segments. Uh, and what how you way you do that is that you select your um, direct tool, direct selection tool, which is up here. Oops right there and so once you've selected that uh, you start clicking uh, on whatever you want to remove and you hit your delete key and um, that takes that out actually I don't want that so what I'll do is I'll go up here and undo clear and Let's try this. Let's see what they say. Okay. Okay, that took that out. That's fine. Let's try the D. And okay. I took that out. And you go around ra randomly where you ever want to remove something. There, you see, and um, just keep doing that. Uh, Okay, I think it's about it just to play around for right, right now. Okay, now the next step, uh, you uh, reselect this again. Okay, and uh, you round off the corners and the end pass. And the way you do that is that you go to your stroke tool, which you go to Windows, 
and stroke and you choose show options here over here and what the CS does is um, Uh, CS4. Let me see. This is CS4. What it does is that you choose your uh, uh, choose round cap and round joint, and you click that one there. It says round uh, cap, and then you click round joint. And that should round your corners up. And then you go to your stroke and then you select 10 points. Okay? Now see? See what happened there? Okay, now the next uh, um, step we du um, duplicate the uh, text by selecting the entire uh, text with the selection tool which is already selected and then we choose edit copy and uh, or you can uh, for Windows you can select control C or with uh, I think it's with a Mac uh, 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 command C, I think is what it is. And um, so you want to uh, edit, uh, paste to front. Go to edit, paste to front. And that's made another copy um, of, of that, uh, of the type. So your next step is make the duplicate lighter and narrower. So, um, we go to our color palette again, and you want to change the stroke to, um, let's try this, uh, let's try, that'll be fine, like a light yellow color. Uh, kind of give it like a neon. I'm going to go for like a neon color. <laughs> um, and okay, you chose that to white and stroke, and then you set the stroke again to go to stroke, and you want to set that one to one. Okay, and then. Uh, the fill is left set to, to none, and that's, that's the end of that step. Okay, now what you do is that you select the white uh, text, and with the mouse, and, um, or with your uh, keyboard errors, either way, what you do is that you move the uh, your color um, one, the one that uh, I just colored, you can either move that over kind of like sideways like this. Let me see what I just did. Just moved it there. Okay, and then what you want to do is that you want to select your, select your other text by holding down the shift key. There. And okay, okay, and then. 
here's uh, this is where the blend comes in where are the two sets you're ready to blend and then once you do when you select both sets of your text with your selection tool you select uh, you go to object the object menu that is up there that's your object see and then you want to go to blend and then from there, and from here, you want to a make, select that, and whoops. This is my first tutorial, can you tell? <laughs> and there, there you have it. Uh, I just changed, it just changed, um, it was subtle, but you could just see that change, you see? And that's it. That's um, what uh, your blend effect does. You see. And I think the second one is better than the one. I did this one earlier, but this, this one, I was experimenting. And uh, so, yeah. So that's it. I did it. <laughs> so this is how you, how you do the blend. And so, uh, that's it for now. And uh, please let me know how you like this tutorial, if it's helped. And this is my first tutorial, so hopefully I'll get better at this. And uh, you guys take care. And uh, God bless you. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye now.